Hello everyone and welcome to Stitch and Quilt. Um, my name is Stephanie, also known as Vintage Sew Gal. And I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, but I'm back. Um, going back to school, I'm a teacher, going back to school in person and doing online has been really kicking my butt and I haven't had any extra time to film any videos. And so we're at home today because um, Hurricane Laura made a visit. Um, I'm in northern East Texas, so the weather's not too bad, but they just practiced an abundance of caution. And where I work, it also has a lot of rural children, and um, sometimes the school buses can't get down the roads if there's lots of rain. So they just decided to give us this day. And so I'm going to take advantage of it. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of stitchy time because I've been working so much and when I get home then I'm just straight to bed. I'm too tired. I have done some but not really enough to show and it's been so long. So what I'd like to do today, Roxy and I, would like to give you a tour, people have been asking, of what I've got done so far in my sewing room slash stitchy room. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I hope you enjoy this. And let me know in the comments if you like it. If you aren't already, please subscribe. And um, thanks for watching. Okay, so this is me. I'm standing at the door. So this is the view from the door. I'm sorry about the glare from the ceiling fan lights. I have not yet gotten that replaced. But when you first come into the room to the left is my spooky wall, which has several of the more spooky pieces that I have stitched, plus some other items, including these cute little watercolors I found at a thrift store, and some tchotchkes. Everybody has those, right? I also, that is sitting on my vintage spool thread cabinet and in it I keep pieces that I need to FFO. I have two drawers of those. Charts that I have completed and my fabrics that aren't already claimed for a project. So this has been a really functional as well as beautiful piece of furniture for my room. Um, next to it, I have what I call my tea caddy. Has my kettle, my electric kettle, my teas, my mugs. Some aren't in there because I just washed them, so they're drying. And some snacks, because you know you need snacks, right? Um, I also have this. is a piece of sheet metal that I got at a, I think it was Lowe's and a frame I got at the thrift store and I cut the sheet metal to fit and um, I put all of my needle minders on it that are not currently in use. Hanging next to that is a vintage corset cover that I found in a um, big bag of lace that I bought at a thrift store, lace and vintage linens. And um, I had someone look at it and they think it's dated around 1910. So I just thought I would hang it up there to display it because it's really pretty. Um, here is kind of my stitchy corner. All my projects are down there in project bags except for that one that won't fit because it's in a big frame. And yeah, it's a mess. But here are patterns and cue snaps and hoops. I rarely get to sit in my stitchy chair because Roxy, yes, you're guilty. She likes to sit in my stitchy chair, so that's why there's a quilt over it. And of course, a calendar that we have not updated yet, and it's almost September, with all of the things that people have sent me cards and um, things displayed up there. So I do need to update that. Next to that, is my fabric storage. I put everything on here that is um, half a yard or more and fold it onto comic book board. 
They are sort of sorted by color. You can see on the bottom two shelves. This shelf is novelty fabrics and this is Halloween and octopus fabrics. On top, that is a vintage um, uh, perforated paper piece that I bought at a thrift store and then some of my finishes and collection of buttons and things. So the wall is showing up brighter blue than it actually is but it is really a gorgeous navy blue. Also here is my finished Tempting Tangles which I just love next to my vintage clock from 1900. And also have a piece of needlepoint that I bought at a thrift store, which I just, it's lovely. Okay, so, okay, so the next piece, this is my workstation cutting table, uh, drafting table, everything. It is really large, as you can see, and I'm going to excuse the mess, but it has shelves in there on either side and then on the front. I still haven't gotten everything exactly where I want it so I'm still in the stages of putting things together and of course TV right so we can watch YouTube and watch floss tubes so rulers cutting things pencils and pens more rulers a light scraps that need to get put away in the corner is my bookshelf that's a vintage Wilcox and Gibbs sewing machine chain stitch sewing machine on the top I've got vintage sewing books, cross stitch books, quilting books. I don't remember over here. I don't remember um, down here. Costuming books and patterns and then office supplies and things on the bottom because I do work in here. Um, um, sometimes on the weekends so I have my printer and computer so that I can get caught up on the stuff I don't get it done get done during the week yeah um zippers for project bags that's not all of them i do have a huge bucket of zippers as well so this is where a lot of the magic happens with regards to sewing so this is one of my machines that i use a lot it's a heavy duty um i can also do free motion quilting with it um and i've got this pad here so that i can iron by where I'm sewing. Plus I have my collection of vintage dress fashion prints. These two were in my grandmother's house. Sorry it's not focused. There you go. These two were in my grandmother's house. I bought this one off of Facebook Marketplace. I bought those plates at a thrift store. This one's not really a fashion print but I thought it would be pretty anyway. Um, this one was also Facebook Marketplace. And you can see I haven't put my switch plate on the light yet. And then these are my most recent purchases and I haven't figured out where I want to put them yet in relation to the rest. So also Facebook Marketplace. Love that Facebook Marketplace. So I have, it looks kind of messy but I have everything set up where I need it. So. It works really well for me. This is my really bright LED light. So I get really good light coverage there and I have the LED strip in my machine, which makes that even more awesome. And of course I have a mirror on the door for when I'm sewing clothing so I can test fit. My most recent acquisition is, sorry that's too fast, my new rug. This came yesterday, which kind of prompted making this video. So let me see if I can get back far enough where you can see y'all a bit. Okay, so I'm in the, the corner by the door, and there's the rug. It is 6 foot 7 inches by 6 foot 7 inches. So it's almost 7 foot square, and is perfect I think for the room. This gives you a better idea of the blue color because it more closely matches the color on the walls than the walls are showing up in the video. So that's my sewing room. Oh this on the back of the chair 
is a vintage tablecloth that I found at a thrift store that has been cross-stitched. And I do need to um, get it cleaned better. It has some yellowing on it, but I just have it there because I think it looks pretty. So yeah, this is my room. And this place, it makes me happy. All right, how about you? Do you have a place that makes you happy? Okay, floss tube, that's my sewing room. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know what your favorite part is and let me know in the comments below if you have a place that you like to call your own that makes you happy. All right, happy stitching everyone. See you next time.